Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and in today's video, I am going to be giving you all my tips and tricks, as well as the star cards I use to dominate in Battlefront 2 while playing as Yoda. Now, guys, I haven't done a hero guide in a little while, as most of my attention has been covering the news for Battlefront 2, as well as a recent video on Jedi Fallen Order. But with a break in the updates for Battlefront 2 at the moment, I thought now would be a great time to teach you guys how to dominate with the Grandmaster himself. First off, I am going to give you guys a rundown of the best star cards that Yoda has and what you should be using while playing in Galactic Assault. And then later on in the video, I will let you know what I use for heroes versus villains as well and some extra little tips. Before I do get started though, I wanna give you guys a quick heads up that my new merch is now live. So if you wanna support the channel by getting a Team Twisted t-shirt or hoodie, the link will be down in the description. All proceeds from the t-shirts and hoodies will go back into the channel to make the best possible content for you guys. Anyways, without delaying any further, let's jump straight into it. Getting into Yoda's star cards, he has a fair few different options that can be really good. His hitbox is absolutely tiny and the way he moves when he's attacking makes him really hard to take down. This is something you wanna to use to your advantage. Starting in Galactic Assault, the first card I use with Yoda is called Earned It I Have. This card will make the size of Yoda's Unleash ability 25% bigger, which is great when facing enemies in a long hallway, like the entrance way to the palace on Naboo. I've seen a ton of players get heaps of kills with this ability all in one use so it's definitely worth having this one equipped. If there's a bunch of enemies like I mentioned before in a hallway you can absorb most of the blaster fire and get a bunch of kills out of it so it's definitely a handy one to have equipped. The second card I have been using in GA also helps Yoda's unleash ability. This card is actually called unleashed and allows the ability to grow 30% faster when at the epic level. Now for you newer players who who don't know what I mean by Unleash growing, well, when Yoda is absorbing Blaster Fire, the icon for his Unleash ability in the bottom right hand corner has a meter that runs around the outside of it, and depending on how full it is, determines how much damage the ability will do. Having this fill up faster is a fantastic way to dish out maximum damage with the Unleash ability before his stamina runs out, which at the moment is pretty quickly after the last update. So with these two cards used together, his Unleash ability has longer range and quicker damage gain, making it a very very powerful ability. Now getting into the last card I use in Galactic Assault, it is called Jedi Mentor. This card allows Yoda to take 8% less overall damage when at the epic level, which may not sound like much, but when you play GA, it definitely helps in terms of survivability if you are going for big kill streaks. With this card set up, I managed to get almost a 40 kill streak with Yoda, which is good for any hero that doesn't have a health on kill card. A couple of other good cards Yoda has that can be used in GA, depending on your play style, the agility card can give you an extra dash attack and feel the force gives you a bonus 60 health when activating presence. Now feel the force will be really helpful with one of my tips that I will discuss for you now. Obviously in galactic assault when you get a hero you want to stay alive as long as possible. Getting long kill streaks and winning games is pretty much what we all want to do when we're playing as a hero. Well here is a massive tip I will give you for Yoda that I don't see many people doing at all. I watch a lot of live streams, a lot of different players and not many people are doing this with Yoda. His presence ability gives you a boost to your health, but most players will wait until their health gets low or they get into a bit of trouble before they use it. What you should be doing is using it when you have full health before you engage your enemy. That way, any damage that you take will come out of his presence and not from his regular health. When taking damage, as most heroes do, if you take enough hits, your health will only partially regenerate. Using presence before attacking will ensure that you don't hit the point of less health regen unless you really take a beating from a lot of enemies. This way, after you have defeated an enemy, you can find a safe spot and return back to full health with your full health regeneration intact still, thanks to using the presence ability. This is probably the biggest tip I can give you for Yoda when going for big kill streaks in Galactic Assault, as it has definitely helped me out a lot of times. I've had multiple high 30 and even almost 40 kill games, so it's definitely a good one to use. Utilize this tip as much as possible. I can't stress that enough. A few other things I wanted to mention are what maps to use Yoda on. The best times to use Yoda is when you have a lot of cover. Maps like Endor, Kashyyyk, and even Naboo are great for him, and I have managed to get really good kill streaks on all of them. Now with this card lineup, you have to be careful around other villains though. If you are going up against another hero, 
hero, you may want to have some backup or try to catch them by surprise to take them out. Speaking about villains, let's talk about Yoda in HVV. My current card lineup for HVV starts with the Opposing the Dark Side star card. This allows Yoda to do 16 bonus damage per strike to enemy villains. So in HVV, this is key to inflicting bonus damage to your enemies. I like that they have included this card in the game as Yoda doesn't always do so well against enemy villains. So make sure this one is equipped if you are in HVV. The second card I use when playing is again the Jedi Mentor card, allowing Yoda to take less overall damage, the same as when playing NGA. If you take less damage with Yoda, then obviously your survivability is going to be much, much better. And with a boost to your damage output from the opposing the dark side card, Yoda now has an offensive and defensive boost for heroes versus villains. I generally use the Feel the Force card to give presence an extra 60 bonus when used, but this may give you the edge against the stronger villains like Vader or Palpatine when he eventually gets added back to the game. But when playing on heroes versus villains maps where you can fall off the edge, I recommend using the Unleashed card in order to extend your push reach with the Unleash ability. This will help you knock enemy heroes off maps like Kashyyyk or Naboo and is definitely really funny to watch. Opponents like Maul have a much further reach on this throw ability, so extending Yoda's range definitely helps. Make sure you absorb his ability and then launch him back off the edge. A few tips for Yoda in HVV is that you want to support your teammates. Use presence around them to help boost their health as well as your own. Try to target blaster heroes when you can as they struggle against Yoda being able to absorb the blaster fire. And lastly, if you are going up against a lightsaber hero, you have to play it smart. Continue to move around, use the dash attack, dodge side to side, but try not to get into a swing spam battle because it won't end well for you. So guys, these are the few tips I have been using to help me dominate with Yoda, and he is almost level 40 now. He's one of the last heroes I need to get there. I never used to play him very much, but since I have been using him lately to level up, these star cards and tips have been key to getting good kill streaks and doing well in HVV. He's a really hard character, probably one of the hardest to get used to, but once you know the right strategies and cards to use, I guarantee you'll have a better time using him. If you want to see a particular hero done for the next video, then be sure to comment it down below and whichever hero has the most votes I will make a guide on next. Also there are already a few hero guides on the channel so if you go back through you will find a couple although some of them are pretty outdated now with the different buffs and nerfs so I will be redoing most of them in the future. As for now, Iden and Luke's guides are fairly recent, but even now I use different cards for Luke since his buff, so if you want to see that redone as well, let me know. The Iden one should still be good to go as she hasn't had too many changes, so I definitely recommend checking that one out. If you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to smash the thumbs up button down below. Let's see if we can get 100 likes and 100 comments on this video. Also, if you are new here and want more hero guides, Battlefront 2 news and Jedi Fallen Order videos, then feel free to subscribe as once I hit 5k subs, I will be doing something very, very special. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your time here and the tips helped. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you always. The Sith.